Gartner. Hello and welcome to Science Around the House with Brennan Noon. Today we're going to be making water bottle lava lamps with common household items. And uh, me. And Elliot's going to be helping out today. Uh, some of the items that we could have is uh, a simple 24 ounce water bottle, uh, some cups, a uh, pitcher of water, uh, oil, whether it's vegetable oil or mineral oil, and then we'll be using alka salser and food coloring to give it the good bubbly effect, um, just like this one. You can use large bottles as you see, or you can use smaller bottles if you have a lot of kids around the house you want to make this for. Alright, the first thing we're going to need, Elliot, is to take the, the label right off the water bottle. You can see there's a little seam right here, so if you can give that a little pull, you can pull that right off. Oop. Now that we have the label off, you can go ahead and take that top off and pour and fill this glass full of water. You gotta take the top off right there. Fill it all the way up to the top. Don't you go back in. Alright, there you go. Right, turn it back. Turn it back to the side. Whoops. Right, so we're gonna actually we're not gonna use that water. So would you like to drink that water right there? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you can drink that water. And I will take the vegetable oil. and fill the top of this bottle with vegetable oil. <coughs> Elliot's using vegetable oil for his water bottle lava lamp and I'm using mineral oil for mine. Uh, you can see there's different colors there. Now, you can uh, use for fun, you can buy uh, neon food coloring, or you could use just plain food coloring. Elliot decided to go with the neon blue, and I decided to go with the neon yellow. So we just carefully take this up so we don't spill food coloring all over ourselves. We could add uh, four, five, or six drops. We could watch them uh, as they drop through is the it, oil. Is it okay if we put one? You could use, I'd use at least five so that it breaks through the oil, okay? So go over, use three, four, or five, and count when you do it. One. Wait. One. Squeeze it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, put your cap back on. And you'll see that as they drop through here, uh, oil and water don't mix, and food coloring is made has water-based dye, and when it breaks, finally breaks through, it has this cool cascading effect as it goes through there. Yep, it changes, right? Yeah. And up here, it's a bubble. And this is called here. diffusion. This is when it goes through and spreads out through the water. Okay. Mhm. Mm you say diffusion. Diffusion. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna. Put our caps back on carefully. After we finished watching this diffuse. Now it around. Yep. Now you give it one little turnover flip. And then put it back. Wow. Yeah. It looks cool just like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get some alka seltzers. And the nice thing about these water bottles that we picked up at Wegmans is that they have a, uh, a pull top on it so that our alka seltzer is going to release carbon dioxide gas into our bottles. And with an open top, you can put that in there to minimize spillage and the gases will be released right through the top. What's going on? Oh, nice. Do I have any really big pieces? 
Yeah, we have some big pieces too. What if you clean the whole thing that crap? Well, the more you put in, the more bubbles it'll make, right? Mm-hmm. So what if we put in a whole big one? So, let's see if a big one will fit. A big one won't fit, so if we snap it in half, we can put it a full one in like that. And then you'll see lots of bubbles. I want to put in 100. <laughs> Science is cool. Science is cool. <laughs>